uh, 2-0 to China. Both uh, Zhu Fei and Wang Xiu Kin winning by three games to one. Next online is Masaki Takami and he faces Zhu Haidong. Masaki Takami is 18 years old on the under 18 boys world rankings. He is listed at number 16. And his opponent is Zhu Haidong. He is 17 years old and he is listed at number 8. Just as we uh, saw in our first match when Yuto Kizukori plays Yufei, we see uh, contrasting styles on view, although this time we do have uh, two right-handers playing, whereas, of course, Kizukori was the uh, lightning left-hander. But uh, somewhat different styles of play with uh, Takami and Yuhai Dong. The difference being that uh, once again in the uh, guise of this young man, Zhu Haidong, we have a penhole grip player. And of course that's been the traditional grip from Asia, from China, but uh, very much in recent times uh, the uh, shake hands grip has been the uh, preferred grip. go back to the times of the late 1980s, early 1990s, when uh, the European men with their shake hands grip style and the faster rubbers that those days, uh, the use of what we call speed glue, um, rather swung the balance, but uh, of course that is now illegal, you can't uh, change the qualities of your racket, and uh, times have changed. The uh, Chinese have now adapted, they have players of every single style imaginable and uh, at the moment certainly uh, at the top of the world. Whether that will be the case when we have a new world ranking, a new scheme in uh, January, we have to wait and see because uh, I must congratulate the German players. Uh, Dimitri Ovtcharov and Timo Ball, who were uh, first and second in the recent Men's World Cup, they've certainly uh, swayed the... So, away we go. Viral Filimon, the head coach of the uh, Romanian team. And now for uh, Japan there is a mountain to climb. Zhu Haidong, right-handed penhole grip. And very, very quickly into his stride. So first Three points go the way of Zhu Haidong. Now, first point for Japan. Immediate response from Masaki Takami. Five two. Uh, 
short rallies game not yet come alight, but uh, Zhu Haidong, fractionally the more consistent player. First attack takes Ju Hai down to a 7 3 lead. Error on the backhand, ball pits the top of the net and flies, uh, flies long. Takes the score to 3 8. That's a from uh, Osaka to Kami. Service changes. Eight for Zhu Hai Dong to the good. No nine for. Topspin works a bit. Serving at 6 9. 6 10. Service changes. And that gives Zhu Hai Dong four games points for a one game to love lead. Oh, thank you very much indeed. That's the first game to uh, Zhu Hai Dong. He takes the first game 11 6. And uh, a game that never ever really came to like short points, short rallies, and uh, really Masaki Takami unable to adjust to the style of uh, Shu Hai Dong. Most in days gone by, every player in the uh, Japanese team or Chinese team if we go back some 30 odd years that have been penhold grip players but of course now uh, the theory is to let, let a thousand flowers blossom and therefore have a range of styles but um, this boys team event China has never been seriously troubled the only occasion really when uh, Wang Chu Kin needed the five games to beat uh, Zhu Rolong of France. Otherwise, uh, relatively comfortable. And that's a uh, credit to their coaching scheme. So here we go, start of the second game. And it is a Masaki Takami serving.
photographer in the background is Mr. An Sung Ho from Korea. Once they get into rallies, and there have been very, very few in this uh, match, then Xu uh, Hai Dong is the clear favourite. Masaki Takami is to try to win his points quickly. Don now just starting to find a rhythm to his play. Level at five all. So we level at six all. Time out to be taken with uh, Zhu Haidong leading 7 6. And Benigo uh, Tazai trying as always, trying to find some answers, some way through. And it's the uh, same, but with his player in the ascendancy for Lu Jigan. Yu Guan Kai far left. Um, he uh, as yet hasn't played, he didn't play the team event at all. But uh, of course, member of the squad, four players in the squad. And, uh, he'll be hoping uh, for the best for his colleague to uh, have a place on the podium. So let's seek the great work. Saki Takami is serving, he's trailing 6 7. <laughs> 6 8. Dong serving. He's serving as 8 7. And now 9 7, two points clear as the service changes. Oh, tremendous 
return of service. Again, the uh, advantage of the Penhill grip scene, very, very flexible uh, near the net. And in fact, we've lost the ball. So uh, he's uh, going to have a look under the chair, see if we can find it. Somebody pocket it as a souvenir. Uh, I think uh, the answer is for the umpire to give them a new ball. Why not? Dear me. There we are. That is very generous. Nowadays we use this plastic ball as opposed to the celluloid ball and uh, seem to be all of a very uh, similar standard. So here we go. So I don't serve it tonight. And nine. Did not lost the ball. Okay. Powerful backhand into the indecision point. Takes the second game 11 9 for Zhu Hai Dong. That. Uh, so here we are, Zhu Haidong, two games to nil ahead, and of course, China, two matches to nil ahead. So uh, potentially, there uh, is just one more game uh, in this final, unless uh, from somewhere, from some depths, uh, coach uh, Kunahito Tazai and uh, Masaki Takami can find some answers. So just going through this match, recapping, Jufe beat Yuto Kizukori by uh, three games to one. Then by the same margin, Wang Chu Kin beat Yuto Tanaka. That gave um, China a two uh, matches to nil lead. Now Zhu Haidong, two games to the head against uh, Masaki Takami. He is uh, very much on the brink, on the precipice of uh, converting for China. Flexible return is served from the backhand. Doesn't quite convert. So two one is the score. Dante is now three one. service in the wall but uh, somehow we got away with it so Zhu uh, Hai Dong he leads 4-2 he leads by uh, two games still and China very very much as we anticipated in the driving seat credit to uh, Misaki Takami he's not going home He's fighting for the cause. Good man. But, uh, once we get in the rallies, well, this young man, I feel, is always going to be the favourite. Uh, 
and uh, you just see the uh, the response, the vocal response, the body language of uh, Zhu Haidon. He's now starting to flow, starting to fizz. And I'm afraid the heart is going out of uh, Masaki Takami. The writing is on the wall. It's just now, I feel, a matter of time before China celebrates. 2 0 7 3. If he pulls this one out of uh, the fire, it would be my word. Be the mother of all the things. So, five point gap, and uh, China looks very content. Even. Uh, Yu Guan Kwai is pleased who's not played one match, but uh, when I spoke to him yesterday, he tried to speak to me in English. Credit to the young man. There you are, look at the reaction. Moving ever nearer at 9 3. Well, whatever your views, you have to take your hat off to the technical excellence of the Chinese players. Once again, they've taught the rest of the world a lesson. <laughs> Zhu Haidong leads 9-4. It is game point, it is match point, it is championship point for China. There it is at the very, very first attempt. Zhu Haidong, he beats uh, Masaki Takami 11-4 in the third game. The title, once again, belongs to China. Success for Zhu Haidong, 11-6, 11-9, 11-4. It was uh, three straight games. And uh, a very, very competent, impressive performance from a superb group of young players. And players, of course, who will undoubtedly see Grace Alcox for many, many years to come. So our congratulations to China. Earlier in the evening, they took the girls' team title, and now they've repeated that by being successful with the boys' team title. Now we see the tail of the tape. Success. Just now, take a very short break and uh, hope uh, you'll be back with us very, very shortly for the uh, medal presentation.